Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and Amelia here again. We're back on the reformer, but this time we're going to be using the foot bar and the stability ball. So I, this is a pretty good ball for her. If I was princess in the pea here, I would want the ball a little bit higher so her hips would be a little bit higher up. That would be my only thing. And Amelia and I really <laughs> love these ball exercises with the support of the foot bar. And she actually is giving birth at home and she has a reformer at home. So <laughs> she might pull out the foot bar in labor. So the first one we're gonna look at are these just a little tiny circle and a quick circle on the ball. So let's say for example, her water's broke and the baby is still high and we want the baby to drop deeper. This would be a really good kind of messaging for the baby to start to, to, to drop down. And then she's relaxing her shoulders, her head and her jaw, and she's thinking about really winding the ball into the earth. And then if she hasn't already, she can change the direction of those little circles. And as she's doing that, she's asking herself, can I relax my legs? Can I relax my sits bones? What it looks like doesn't matter. She wants to really zone into how she's feeling and that kind of inner fluidity that's moving her bones. Good, and then she can relax. Now we're gonna do the big wide circle. So this starts, yes, beautiful. She's already starting to do it. This starts to talk to changing the shape of the pelvis and it can be changing the shape of the pelvis from the outside, which is an extrinsic way to change the pelvis. Um, but then as the movement gets bigger, those extrinsic uh, movements of the pelvis or positioning, positionings of the pelvis turn into the intrinsic um, movement and shape changes of the pelvis. And so the intrinsic means that we start to change the shape of the pelvis from the inside through the change of the SI joint and the ilium not from just the pelvis around the femur head, right? And in birth, it's really important that the sacrum be mobile and that we start to find that the ilium and the sacrum starting to counter one another as the baby moves itself through the birth canal. So I'm asking her, and as she's doing beautifully, doing bigger movements to start to to use the soft tissue tension of the different structures, muscles in and around her pelvis, legs, and lower spine to start to pull on the sacrum and the ilium. She's also using a push-pull with her hands, which we'll get more into in the next video. And again, you can tell that she's starting to like really tap into that labor mind, right? And that's what we wanna to try to encourage with our pregnant clients when they're in the studio to start to drop into that rest and digest and that parasympathetic nervous system. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.